right, recording. Hello, and welcome to our video presentation about our aviation job portal. Um, we're going to go over the shortcomings and the wish list in this video. So the first one is a notification system, a back end for a notification system. Uh, our team was able to create a front end design and implementation of a notification system, but this has not been connected to the functions of the website, so it's not operational. We do want to have something that looks like this. So if you get a message or some kind of event to a company you subscribe to, you'll get a notification here. So one of the things we wanted to do for this portal was that we wanted to give users the ability to message each other, kind of like on LinkedIn, since that's a thing that you know the world's biggest job portal has. We figured we'd have that feature. Um, we were able to do the front end design by me for the chat system, but we didn't get around to doing the back end model because, you know, we decided we needed to spend more time doing the fundamentals for the chats uh, for the rest of the website. So here's what we had, you know, it's pretty bare bones, um, minimal styling, but it was kind of made to look like kind of like an email inbox kind of thing rather than using like a texting paradigm. So this is what we were thinking about at the time, you know, we couldn't finish this. Um, I'm hoping that whoever picks up this project next can actually implement a chat system. So, you know, we have all the little extra gizmos that most job portals have nowadays. Okay, so in regard to company profiles, the one thing um, that we were meaning to add, but we didn't come around to adding was um, the was a feature for users to be able to subscribe to company pages um and and so like if if a user were to subscribe to a company page they um at least in the very least would probably be able to easily you know <clears throat> uh easily look back up the that company page and like whenever that company profile um uh like if, if there's any activity that goes on with that company profile, say if, um, if the, if like new job posts are made or if, um, uh, or if that employer also adds other things like maybe like, like articles that like, or, or news articles, like maybe that that can be like, you know, all those events could also, um, uh, can trigger that like that user being able to receive notifications since they are subscribed to that company. So currently, uh, we intended for employers to be able to search for their own way, uh, their own candidates. Currently, we only have it so that uh, for a company to view a job seeker, they must apply. So we'd like for the, the team in the next sprint to be able to implement this in future releases. So in regards to, uh, to this aspect of the project, um, we weren't able to, uh, to, to apply it and implement it, uh, given the amount of, uh, of work that we had ahead, but this will be a pretty good feature in the sense that companies will be able to review um, their candidates and, and be able to see and uh, edit their, their statuses. Uh, we wanted to, um, as a, um, a job seeker, we wanted to have like a suggested job based on their uh, skill set, but uh, we weren't able to uh, do that. We're just able to have a job seeker um, maybe uh, filter out what they want in the job, like either by a title or by um, filtering, by filtering 
messages. But uh, as of right now, we don't have like a way based on a user's or a, a job seeker's skill set or resume what um, what jobs might be perfect for them. So currently, our resume parser does summation from a PDF or docx file that was uploaded by a job seeker. Uh, it works. It's just, it could be better. There's, there's always room for improvement, you know, with uh, accuracy and some of the fields that uh, the parser finds. So hopefully in the next sprint, or for the next team, they'll be able to improve on that. So the events page. So uh, with a lack of time, I was only able to create the model and have the admin be able to add some events, but the model needs to be modified. So it has a foreign key to link it with the company profile. There is a front end page for the events page that you can filter, where you can sort out and sort it to like which one has a deadline date first, but I'm pretty sure the next team can take it a step further beyond and plug it in and add a, add a form so that a company can add events. And then a job seeker will be able to RSVP for it and see how many people have RSVP for that event to see how many people will attend. About it. Yep, and that's all of our current shortcomings or wish list for the current semester.